Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a super exciting video because I got an amazing package. I'll try to cover my address here, but this is my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipstick and this came in the mail yesterday, but I wanted to film my first impression reaction for you guys. So I have not opened it yet and I'm like literally so excited, chomping out the bit. I've done the rest of my makeup. I haven't applied any lip product and I just can't wait any longer. I got the color As If, which is like one of the lightest nude ones um, that she says looks really good on her sister who's super fair and I am super fair. Ooh, look how pretty the box is. Okay, so far quality box. There's like nice raised embossing on it. This looks actually a lot um, fancier than I thought it was going to. These were $18 and this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick. Cream meets shine with this rich pout perfecting lipstick that's filled with buttery goodness. And there's the shade right there, as if. And so far I'm impressed with the quality. The packaging was really cute. I thought it was also a cute touch that the like actual mailing um, envelope had her branding on it. So, okay, let's open this bad boy up. And just a side note, I'm already pumped because Jacqueline Hill and I have the same initials, so I just had to have like this lipstick because it just has my initials on it, so. Okay, so so far can't open the box, really struggling here. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it looks so shiny. Ooh, okay, so here's the lipstick, the nice shiny top, the little JH for Julianne Heckel, you know, or Jaclyn Hill, whatever. But um, this so far is actually like really quality, like a lot weightier than I thought it was going to be. Um, it looks really beautiful. It is like just so extra, like super glittery, the diamond on the top, like everything's super shiny, but I'm super into it. I don't have any other lipsticks that look like that, that's for sure. So let's open it up. Ooh, and she's beautiful. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a really nice light nude. It doesn't look as light as I thought it was going to, if I'm honest. So we'll see how it applies. I thought it was going to be like a way more pale, light pinky nude. But we're going to pause right here so that I can take a pic for the gram. Okay, photo shoot is over. So I'm going to apply this now and I'm super excited. Oh my god, I don't want to mess it up. It's so perfect. I hate using new lipsticks. They're just so beautiful, but it has to be done. And by the way, I um, just had moisturizer on my lips, so I wiped it off. So... They're nice and ready to go, no lip liner, no nothing. We're just gonna go straight in with the lipstick. Okay, so far the color is absolutely beautiful. This is a really nudie nude, which is what I wanted. It's very hard to find nudes for fair skin. The lipstick is really creamy and feels really moisturizing. And these do have a very interesting smell. It is like a sweet vanilla, but not too sweet. Like you definitely kind of have to like sniff really close to get the scent. Otherwise it's not really going to bother you. But okay, this actually applied pretty um, smoothly. I think I would definitely use a lip liner next time, but overall pretty happy with how this looks. Okay, I think this is definitely a good color if you're fair like I am and are looking for a really nudie nude. This is actually like the most nude nude that I've ever used. And I love that it has the pinky undertone because a lot of times I find these like super nudie nudes but they're like white, yellowy, tanny nudes, which is great if you're like popping it in the center of your lip or something like that. But if you're going for an all over nude look, look and you're fair, a lot of the times fair people like me have like slightly pinkier undertones. So just like the yellow lipstick just like doesn't look right. And this one has a nice pinky undertone and it looks actually perfect. All right, so my honest first impressions is that I love this. I think the color is super unique, beautiful. I love it. The packaging's gorgeous from the box to the actual bullet to like the packing slip, like everything was just really nice and quality. Um, I think the smell is like not too overpowering. It feels really moisturizing. The color is super nice for fair skin. I'm super impressed, but I'm a Jaclyn Hill like super fan. So I was gonna love no matter like what she brought out. I feel like I was gonna like it and buy it and like support her. But I'm honestly like really happy with this color. I've never had a nudie lipstick that like looked like it worked with my skin tone this well. Like I'm just not even used to seeing myself in a nude like this because it's so hard to find a shade like this. And so far, really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this like unboxing of the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics lipstick. I would just was super pumped about this product and I've been seeing tons of people posting reviews and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of give my two cents and it, like just for the memories to show myself opening this up because I've been watching Jaclyn Hill for like years and years and years, like definitely way over five years, probably closer to like eight, seven or eight years, something like that. At least it's been a super long time. I discovered her off of Pinterest. I clicked on 
a makeup tutorial of hers that I saw on Pinterest about like highlighting and contouring I think and then I went to her YouTube and I've been following her ever since. So I just feel like I've been on this journey for a long time and we're finally getting products and so gorgeous and I'm just so happy for her. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. I still upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday and thank you so much for watching.